Hello, I'm Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States of America, who introduced and influenced the end of slavery. Hi, I'm Frederick Douglass. After escaping from slavery, I became a leader of the abol abolitionist movement, gaining no for my incisive into slavery writing. Hey, Fred, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Abe. How are you doing? Good. Abe, I was thinking about how great it feels to be a free man and not a slave. And I wondered why did you end slavery and when you decided to free African Americans? Well, as president of the U.S., it was my job to create a free society where everyone is equal. Also, I issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which began the process of freedom for American slaves. The document also allowed black soldiers to fight for the Union. I felt that the Emancipation Proclamation would eventually free all slaves and create equality for blacks in society. Wow, you're such a wise man. Thanks, so are you. Frederick, can I ask you a question? Sure, Mr. Lincoln, what is it? I was wondering, how was it being a, sl being a slave with s such cruel slave owners? Well, it was tough, but I persevered and got myself free a couple of times. It takes courage, hope, and patience, but overall it was worth it. I would do anything risk and risk my life to be free. One day I finally escaped. Born a slave, I escaped at age 20 and went on, and went on to become a world reowned anti-slavery activist. I'm inspired by your story of perseverance and the struggles and obstacles that you have overcome in your lifetime. Now you are a, a very successful man. Thank you, so are you. Thanks. May I ask how you learned to read and write despite being a slave? Well, I actually told myself how to read and write. Wow, how did you do it? I was determined to become successful in my life and I knew that I was going to have to know how to read and write. Frederick, was it easy escaping from your slave owner and were you worried that he might come and catch you? When I was 18, I made my first attempt to escape. I failed and was imprisoned. In January 1837, I escaped for a second time, looking for somewhere to sleep, looking for somewhere to sleep. I went to an inn. There I met Anna Murray, who was a black slave as well. On September 15th, 1838, I got married to Anna Murray after escaping. I changed my name to Frederick Douglass so that it would be harder for slave catchers to trace me and persecute me again. My real name was Frederick Bailey. I changed my name to Douglas because Nathan Johnson, a friend of mine, was reading a book called La Lady of the Leak, and Nathan suggested that I should change my name to a character in the book, Frederick Douglass. Wow, it is amazing that you even thought, even though you got caught once, you still tried to escape again. Yes, and I was lucky enough to be free. Although I had to change my name, I was still relieved from being a slave. When some of my friends and family and other black people were still living in harsh conditions of slavery and were being treated like animals. Wow, thank you for telling me all about your life as a slave. Thanks so much. Well, without you, me and my family might still be slaves and not living in a free and an amazing country like this. No problem. Everyone has a right for freedom, no matter what color they are.